Alrighty folks. Well, today's uh, experiment um, is going to deal with breaking DC circuits. Uh, there are several threads on various forums that deal with um, the sort of emergency disconnects that are supposed to be fitted to a DC EV. Now, one of the problems that I have uh, is that essentially to break a DC circuit is a good deal more uh, difficult than to uh, break an AC circuit. Now, people don't seem to under understand that. So what I've done today is I've just decided to very uh, quickly set up a simple experiment here. So this machine here, we have ourselves uh, an old-fashioned um, 180 amp AC-DC um, arc and TIG uh, welding power source. And uh, as you can see here, we're currently set up at uh, DC power. And we're on arc here so that the HF is turned off. That's on the DC. And um, we have the current here set to full, which is about 180 amps DC. And I've just got the arc clamp here on the, the side of the bench. And I've put a standard uh, 25 square uh, just a copper terminal hog into the vise here just to act as a as one side of the terminal. Now I've just got a electrode holder here uh, that's just got a second one of those terminals in there and I've just been doing some quick experiments here just to break the circuit and see um, just to kind of demonstrate there is resulting arc. Now one of the things um, that we have to understand about it is that this machine puts out about 55 volts perhaps 57 in a pinch. Now uh, a, mo a modern EV can be 150 volts plus and under 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 a, a failure circumstance you can be talking five six seven hundred amps of power so what we're doing here is breaking about fifty five um, uh, volts at about a hundred and sixty to a hundred and eighty amps but that's only going to be at uh, about 55 volts and uh, even so we're going to get some pretty uh, spectacular arcs and sparks from this guy so I'm just going to turn on the plant here now just to see what the exact uh, output voltage is um, I don't actually know to be honest, I'm just kind of taking a bit of an, an, an educated guess on this thing, so... Oh, that's interesting actually, it's up around 173 volts. That'd be open, that'd be the open, open circuit um, voltage, so that's much better actually, that'll kind of, uh, that'll give us a better, um, that'll give us a better representation. So I'm going to set up the camcorder now on a tripod. And I'll just do a few. Uh, I'll just do a few quick um, arcs on this guy. It'll just, it's just uh, to try to give people a better idea um, as to what's in involved with uh, with having a disconnect switch inside a car. Ready? We're back now. So. I'm going to put on the old uh, safety gear. Got some um, anti flash glasses here. And uh, we're going to go ahead and draw some arcs. I'm going to probably do this a few times with the power involved. So here we go, a typical 
right. See how easy it is for to get the scope? And uh, I think the, the only practical way to, to avoid that sort of a circumstance is going to be the e kilovac. And uh, I will say now officially to any, any uh, component supplier out there that I'm prepared to test here. Um, any kind of contactor or disconnect uh, that they may wish to send to me so that's I'm, I'm basically putting I'm putting a challenge out there um, to all of these suppliers um, so that he can finally have some independent uh, data on all of these contactors and disconnects and all of this kind of thing. Okay, that's it for now. <laughs>